Yes, sir. Big Sweet checking in, man. So about that trapping out the trap house. You know how we rocking, man. You know how I get down. I always tap in with, you know what I'm saying? My folks is doing their thing in the streets, man. Red, man Robinson in the building. And that boy Chad. What's up, man? How you doing? What up, though? Straight from Detroit. I see that. Yes, sir. What's going on, man? Well, how did you get into this film direction? Because you started doing music first. Well, yeah, I started doing, well, actually, I started movies first, believe it or not. In okay. Pl- in the play form back when I was a kid. And then uh, music just came about. And so, then, so you always into film and just directing just different yeah, things. Yeah, well, you know, it was back when I was doing plays. I ain't really never think I was gonna be no director. Why? It was too far away. Mm. You know, I'm from Detroit, so we didn't. It's it was too far away. It was Hollywood. So, what, what, what inspired you to even start? You know what I mean? Because sometimes when you yeah. black and you growing up in like a rough neighborhood and a really rough area, and you don't see too many positive, you see positive things happen, right, but. Right. Film directing and plays, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a different that's a different playground. Yeah, well plays was pushed to me by my mama. You know, okay. she hated you you about to be in this play, you know, in fourth grade or whatnot. But far as how I made it, my boy came out here from Detroit, mm-hmm. Al Nuke. And he you know, he clinked, he linked up with Zaytoven. they started doing movies in 09. Okay, I know done, Nuke. Done deal. I mm-hmm. seen that from afar. Oh, okay. That was it. Oh, so so, what makes you stop doing music? Like, cause, uh, I'm talking to my boy Chad. You know all about the Coalition DJs. Yeah. You know, had your runs in Atlanta and everything. Yeah, yeah I, I never stopped. I just stopped putting it out. Okay. I still do it. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of use that same pen to write movies. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, so so, what's the difference from your movies? And, and if people want to know how to catch up and, and figure out what you done done already, like, mm-hmm. give them the rundown. You mean, what's the difference of what? I, I mean, as far as, like, like the rundown, I mean, as far as your movies and what you bring to the game, because, you know, every oh. director is, yeah. is different. Well, the main thing I bring to the game is it's a hood director and it's a, it's a hood nigga that make hood uh, movies. That, okay. That's me. You cool. know what I'm saying? So if there's a blank or a, a spot missing in the film world, I'm here to fill it. And that's real. Mm. That's real talk. This re- reality where it's like, yeah. it's just, this is how it is and we're growing up in our neighborhoods. And Yeah. yeah. And, and then I, I touch other stuff too. I don't just talk about that because the reality of the world, there is other stuff going on. Okay. And I might see it. And if I see it, I'm going to write about it. So from my understanding, you, you done moved down here. You know what I'm saying? Definitely... Put it down. You got a film studio and everything yeah. like that? Yeah. Tell me about that. Well, it's uh, on the Beltline, off the Beltline. Okay. Ain't not too far from Tyler Perry Studio. Uh, it's 20,000 square feet. We painted it black. You know what I mean? We painted the White House black. Got that from, uh, who that, Jeezy? Yeah. That's from Jeezy, hey, whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, we do a lot of things there. We do uh, acting classes. Uh, we shoot movies inside of it. And then other companies come in and, and shoot film inside there as well. So, do you also can do videos there too, right? Oh, yeah. You can shoot videos there. You know, you just got to come right though. Okay. You can't come in there acting crazy. Right. Come you on, You know man. what I mean? Because it. you know, ain't, what, ain't what we about over here, man. So, how, so. How, how did you get introduced to this dude? How you run into this man right here? Because I know this man from way back. I'm talking about when he was Jits coming up, you know yeah. what I'm saying, doing music and everything like that. Made in Atlanta. Yeah. yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Chad, what's up? How, how you meet Chad? Um, you don't tell it. He tell it. Let me um, tell it. Basically, I was in the bed, mm-hmm. knocked out. Met my boy Adrian Lockett. Okay. Um, from the Oval. Um, had like five lines. My first first experience on on Tyler Perry or whatnot. And he hit me around like three in the morning, and was like, "Bro, do you have a reel?" First, I didn't know what a reel was. Right. I'm like, "What you talking about?" Yeah, I'm real. Right. Yeah, I'm real. <laughs> <laughs> I made it alone. Hey, you talking about? Yeah, you, you talking know? about what? <laughs> and he's like, "No, bro. Like, just footage of showing you you can act." I'm like, well, I could come up with something. So I just pulled, like, certain scenes or whatnot, then sent him a headshot. So he was like, man, I don't know if he going to want you, but you got to come down here, bro, so he can see you and actually do the line. So it wasn't necessarily my part at the time. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I get down there. What's his name? Do you want me to say the guy's name who rolled out? Was supposed to be? Scarface. Scarface. Hold on, let me tell it. Yeah. So Scarface, uh, the rapper, which which is my, my top Top five rapper. Come on now. So he was uh, he was lots, uh, allotted to be uh, a character in, in this film, right? So he got sick during COVID. And he, he all the tickets was booked. He knew the lines, whatever. So right when we was getting ready to shoot that particular scene, he sent me a picture. He, he was wide open. He can't even fly. So we cut that. So we took somebody else mm-hmm. from that role and put it in to uh, to his role. Mm-hmm. So now we got a role. Oh, we, got a, we got a hole there. So my other dude, Five Mikes, which is uh, T.I.'s cousin, mm-hmm. he in a, he was in L.A. at the time. He got uh, held up at the airport. Mm. Like, literally, he called me, FaceTimed me on on, on, uh, on on FaceTime. It was like, look what's going on. So they wouldn't let this dude board the flight. Wow. And this is the next scene is the next morning. Mm. So we way out somewhere, and I go to Adrian. Like he said, I said, Adrian, bro, who you know? I said, Adrian, who who you know who who got who got some chops? That's what we call it. Right. He said, man, I got this dude. So I flipped through him. He said, over. I said, oh, well, oh man, okay, whatever, whatever. <laughs> and by the time I woke up, Adrian had had this dude locked in. Mm-hmm. Like he said, he came down to the prison that we rented, 
And he got out of his truck. I said, what is this going on here? You know what I mean? <laughs> I said, Not sure. Just like, oh, oh man. Just, I gotta man trust my this, dog. What is this going on here? So yeah. I walk up to him and we talk for a quick moment. And this mm-hmm. thing, I think you hit me with a couple lines. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. And I said, it's a rap. Yeah. Mm. But, so, so, it was a rap. Oh, yeah. My bad. Um, like, so it, it was a rap, right? But I didn't know whether or not if this person was from Atlanta or New York. Right. So we was kind of like bouncing in between, you know, parts and he was kind of correcting me and coaching me through it and so the next day we back on set he walked up to me and was like bro where you from i said i'm from atlanta he said what part i said bankhead he said that's what it is he said bro give me bankhead bro when he said give me bankhead he was in there oh it was over with jack (laughs) (laughs) no it was no more up no it was none of that you know it was like purified atlanta atl georgia and from that I guess I did so well from from that from that role. Mm-hmm. I would assume you get what I'm saying, and um, I think the year after that. Oh well, no, let's back up. So it, he did well, as he was said it, but it was a fact that he did well with a veteran. He mm-hmm. was again, he was up a, oh. a, a with Jamal Willard, who played mm-hmm. Biggie, and he always steal the show when I'm whenever I'm you know directing him or whatever. This dude was right with him. Pretty much everybody in that scene was, but it was the reason why he was so dope because he just learned the lines three mm-hmm. in the morning. He right. got the lines three in the morning. So it was like if you had time to really, really sit with it, yeah, it's a different story. That's exactly what I was thinking. Mm-hmm. So he write the next day. I was like, because it was written for New York. Even the line said, uh, "What was it?" Uh, uh, oh, some yo, yeah, some uh, Bed You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, we yeah. changed it to Buckhead right there on set. So he, when you watch the movie Super Turn, you see him say. You see him say Bankhead. That yeah. was made up right then. That was made up right he was, then, yeah. Because yeah. he was from Bankhead. Yeah. So that's what made me was like, okay, bro, if he had some real, real time, um, yeah. He'd be all right. He'd be that one. So so tell me this. How did you even get started like acting? Because I, I think I just, we randomly talked one day recently, and you mm-hmm. was like, I'm acting. I'm like, what? <laughs> and you see me, I'm like, bro, you good. Like, you was rapping before. I never even knew that you yeah. was acting. So what made you decide to even take it that route? And like, how? Like, well, you know, my origins is, um, um, I went to the School of Performing Arts, North okay. Carolina High School. Me and Rara, you know Rara. Yeah, for sure. Drico. Um, I did admit some of a nice dream back then. Uh-huh. And when I kind of got a whiff of that, it was like, hmm, maybe there's something I could do. Right. So after high school, I did a, I, I tampered with it a little bit, but it was like more so modeling and then acting. But I'm like, I just didn't really like nobody writing my words for me because right. I'm so used to writing my own, work, right. my own words. Thanks. And then also what it would do as far as when I would work jobs and they'll hit me up and say like, "Bro, you got an audition?" And I'm like, "I can't do an audition right now because it's one o'clock p.m. and I'm still at I'm still at work." Right, facts. So at that point, when you met me, it's like I ain't think about no acting. You right. know, folks probably you know how folks look at you and don't even think you can do it. Yeah, yeah. I you mean, know, you, you, you always know. have the situations where you know being black. Period. They be like, "Man, come on, man." Yeah, just right. being new. Yeah, right. So um, after hearing it so many times, you know, people saying it to you like, "Bro, you like an actor." I'm like, man, is this just God saying to me? Because I don't like following the crowd. Right, right, facts. Decided to get in class and got in class and got a little bit more serious with it. In 2019 is when I really, really was like, it's time to go. I got to do this. Right. You know, it's all or nothing at this point. So here I am, you know what I mean? And just so happened, I meet this dude and it's been like a brotherhood. Right, You feel me? It ain't just no industry stuff. It's like, hey, let's lock in. You know what I mean? This, this. Dope experience, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? So what would y'all tell, like, in, in both sides? Like, you coming from Detroit and coming from where you come from and you coming from where you come from. Like, what would you tell some of these young black men out here that inspire to be directors or film directors or just inspire to be something other than being in the streets and getting caught up in the hood anyway? What would you tell them? I would tell them to stop inspiring. Mm, come on now. That's it. Get Do to it. it. Do it. Get to it. So how hard was it mentally? Like to 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 I know you said you know what I'm saying with with seeing what your bro was doing out here. Uh, yeah. Like how did it click in your head like, you know, I got to get out of the D. I got to it's something else I got to do. I mean, that's never even thought about it. Mm. Like literally I woke up at at 1 about 1 a.m., jumped in the Escalade left. Mm. Like literally that's what I did. And I said, if if I drive this this damn truck, I ain't had no license. The windshield was broke, had a bubbling tire. I just left. If I make it Oh, if I make it, yeah, exactly. If oh, I make wow. it, I'm staying. Oh. If I if I get pulled, <laughs> I'm going back to the cut. 
I think that everybody that's successful has similar stories. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because even when I started doing BET and I did Rap City, it was just an audition. I never knew nothing about t- on TV. Right. Yeah. I sent an audition tape. They flew me. I flew to New York. Auditioned a couple of times. Was in L.A. with Bootsy and David Banner for a video shoot and Roy Jones Jr. The dude that was supposed to do Rap City, the weekend show, did not show up. The director called. The producer called. and was like, yo, well, we got the dude that tried out. He's like, let him do it. And that's how I got on BET. Wow, that's how you end up doing Rap City? For real? That next month, that next Saturday night, I got called to come to Atlanta to do radio. And I I literally flew from L.A. to Atlanta to be on air by by 6 o'clock. And my dad drove all my stuff down to Atlanta. And that's how I got to Atlanta. (laughs) It's like, so it's like, you know what I'm saying? I just, hearing that story and then hearing your story is like, Mm -hmm. it's kind of crazy just how, like, just pretty much everybody, you just got to... Take advantage of every situation you come across, and if it's in your heart to do it, do it. Mm-hmm. And always be prepared. Mm-hmm. What would you tell folks? Um, because you got a different story. Coming from bank here, you know what I'm saying. You telling me like, folks told you like, mm, you ain't gonna be able to do it. You ain't gonna do this. You ain't yeah. do that. And then you you did it. Like, and then it's like it ain't no situation where you started when you was 12. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like you got in after ready music, cool. Let me get on this acting. All right. So it's really no time frame. Right. For you to be successful. It's all about just your work ethic and who you are as a person and how you're going to go off for it. Right. I will say don't be the, the rat in Who Moved My Cheese. Mm. I don't know if you're familiar with that book. Mm-hmm. Um, just a brief synopsis. Two, two rats. They kept eating the cheese. The other rat said, bro, eventually this cheese is going to run out. We need to find another place right. to go. So the other rat like, nah, bro, the cheese is going to stay here. Mm. The cheese didn't stay. The other dude ended up going somewhere else and found more cheese while old boy was just still just standing there. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Right. And what I what I do learn as we sit in one space, the whole demographic is changing. All the time. The buildings. The trees stay the same. Make right. it chopped down, but the buildings and we grow old. Why come on now? Why why all the landmarks are are, are changing. Come on. So now. are you just gonna evolve with the landmarks? Are you just going to grow old in that same spot? And, so. it, and that's how I could, I could agree with you because sitting in this chair for, what, 16, 17 years, mm-hmm. them same artists that was on when I first got here all broke. Nah. Mm-hmm. They're the majority of them. Right. Ain't got no money no more. Nah. Whether they just made bad decisions, bad business moves. Mm-hmm. Very few stay on top, period. It's always a downfall, in, and I feel like in music, you get your ups, you get your and you coming down. Once you get up there, you coming down. Now, how you come down, how you land is up to you. You know what I'm saying? But you mm-hmm. definitely coming down. But there's a lot of other stuff you got going on, too. I seen another video with Nickelodeon or something like that. Like, Oh, the Nickelodeon, I did that um, last year. Uh-huh. Yeah, I did that I did that last year. I was a um, co-star with Young Dylan. That's hard. Yeah. Yeah, that was, a, that was an experience. Didn't think I could. I kind of knew it, you know, doing comedy type stuff. Quirky. Right. Because, you know. Being it's diverse. Nickelodeon. It's different. It's Nickelodeon. Yeah. Right, right, right. But you know how most people, you know, take because I'm a I'm a country guy. Mm-hmm. Like, man, he can't do this. Right. But he he peeped it out before everybody. Right. You know because of the character. We're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that a little later. What, the 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 focal point of this interview. But I will say Nickelodeon was just a a, um, a thing of showing people that I do have range. Right. You know. Facts. Outside of what I have coming next, right? And yeah, going to the I, but I, I agree with him on that. When I, I watched the, uh, the Dylan episode, I didn't know what to expect. Mm-hmm. You know, I had just worked with him for for what, two years straight. I didn't know what what to expect. But when I watched it, it was it was clean. It was it was natural. It was funny, <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? So I, he's he got range, bro. He mm-hmm. got range, definitely. So, so what's next for you, man? Like, what's going on? Give me the whole rundown. Hey, man, uh, we just shot a show called um, On Ten. Um, I hate the name drop, but I ain't got no choice on this one. This right. guy, Vivica got Fox, to. Little Mama, Jess Hilarious. Oh, man, there's so many. Shaq. Clifton uh, Powell. Clifton Powell. Uh, Erica Peoples. Erica Peoples. Uh, How the hell you pull that off, man? Hey, man. I'm him. <laughs> That's him. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth, bro. You do What you do is you do a proof of concept. You prove what you can do without saying nothing. Right. It's there now. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And everything else falls into play. So with all those people... Uh, that we have in the show, those all got they all got dope names, been around for years. Right. But they all supporting this man. He the lead. Wow. This dude is the lead. And when I tell you he he brung it, he brung it. Because mm-hmm. his character is like a black uh what's the name of that dude? Um, Dexter. Like a black Dexter in a sense. So he gotta have different layers. And he pulled it off. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So shout out to you, bro. So yeah. when and when is dropping, when is coming out? I mean, what's what? 
Man, it's coming. That's all I'm going to tell you. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that, that means you, that, that, it's leaving room that you got to come back then. Yeah, yeah. I definitely got to come back. Definitely got to come back. There's so many things involved in it. Like, we got battle rappers in it, like Arsenal. We got uh, B- Easy. Easy, which are they, probably the top two in the battle rap game. Right. They're going to do a battle based around the show when it released. So it's just, the show is, is big. And I wanted to stay true to where he come from. Right. Because... You know, I'm not really a visitor, mm-hmm. but me, myself, you right. can consider me a visitor. I've right. been here 10 years. Right. But my grandmama and them from here, right. you know what I'm saying? They they migrated back to Detroit. So you got roots. We got, I got roots in. They right. still live here. I just don't want to talk to them yet because right. I already know, you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, my daddy said, you got family there. I said, okay. But, uh, you know, I wanted to keep it true to him because I don't want to be called out. That's right. when my that's my biggest pet peeve, right? Yeah. Getting called out. Right. I got to lay it out. If I lay it out right, I ain't going to get called out. Facts. So he brung that in every single scene. I told him, bro, this is what it means to me to make sure when people watch this, they feel like they're really in Atlanta. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's hard. Then so, the, the, the aspect also from um, going from the character, which is Osiris Warlock, a mm-hmm. weird kid from Bankhead. Mm-hmm. So he's like an eclectic hood dude. Mm-hmm. I keep talking out the mic. You My good? Bad. You yeah, good? Yeah. Um, eclectic hood dude, um, and certain certain paragraphs and all in and those um in those in all those scripts he wrote, wrote, mm-hmm. bro. Oh my god! Right. But he kept asking me like, "Can you do this? Right. Can you do this?" So certain words I didn't know. Right. I would have to go to um. You know, you can go to YouTube and they can like pronounce the word for you. Facts. I, and you I just got to keep practicing yeah. it over and over and over to a point where I just start saying the word by mistake to people. Right. Um, uh, what, what, what word? Sister Nakaline. Yeah. I, I'm saying this to people. They're like, what, what are you talking about? My bad, bro. I've just been practicing this word for so long. Right. I just want to make sure when I get on set. Did that you know it? It, right? come, it you comes off. So going from being hood to, I don't want to give too much. But yeah. It, it, yeah it's, but he, 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 he messed me up with that one because. He kept calling me. He said, bro, I got first episode down, first episode down. <laughs> and I know we're not shooting the first episode like that. Mm. We're going to shoot it in blocks, block ah, across right. yeah. this location. Yeah. So he kept scaring me. He was like, bro, I got one down. I'm like, dog, it's seven more or six more of them. You know what I'm saying? In my mind. And I sent them all to him. We got the set. Killed every last one of them. All I right. felt like he was rope a me at, at some point. Right. <laughs> you know, honestly, because I didn't, I never done an episode before. Right. I never did an uh, episodic before. Right. Um, never been a lead before. Right. So only thing I thought was, bruh, see me all the scripts. And I know man is a busy, busy person. So I would go, go to his assistant and she, she'll send it to me. And I just use my printer and just print it out. He don't even know. I know I got all this. Right. So I just be at the house, not talking to nobody, practice studying it, studying it, studying it. But it's more than just knowing the lines. It's also understanding the subtext of the lines and what the line really mean. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Text. And that requires that requires you just sitting in a room by yourself, talking to yourself, saying crazy stuff, and hopefully it comes off to the viewer, you know, especially him being the director and him right. seeing it, because he gonna tell you, right? That ain't it. Come on, bro. We got hey, we on hey, we on the time. We, we on the time limit here. You gotta shake it and do what you gotta do. You feel me? Like it's it's it's. This is an experience, man. And I will advise anybody from. From your hood, your hood, my hood, his hood, anybody hood, man, bump what people say, man. Go after it, bro. With the mind of a man, can even believe he can't achieve. Come on now. You feel me? Come on now. Yeah. Let them know on Instagram so they can contact y'all if they want to follow y'all. You know what I'm saying? Know when everything drops. Well, you can follow me at Man Robinson at, and Man Robinson Studios, two ends. But look, it's a lot more chads out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm telling Atlanta right now. Yeah. I'm doing a lot of shows, a lot of movies. Yeah. Come see oh, yeah, me. I, I mean, I'm already coming to see you, bro. I know you is, yeah. man. You already got it anyway. You already got it. That's why you got the, that, that job, bro. You already had it in you, bro. Yeah, I can yeah, see it right I now. It. Yeah. So tell all Atlanta, female, male, come see me. Yeah. Come see me on Instagram or come see me at the studio. It don't matter. That's all. Yes. That's all. Chad, what up? Um, at Chadwick Farley underscore OM. OM is for officially. You got made. a movie name, too. Huh? <laughs> Chadwick. Yeah, yeah. You know, a lot of folks think I made that name up, man. Hey. I've been Chadwick all my life. So imagine just being on Bankhead. They're like, Chadwick? And I'm like, what's up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you got to be thankful for that now. You know what I'm saying? Farley at that. Look good on the big screen. Mm, it's going to be Chadwick. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stick with Chadwick. Yeah. That my brother. He look out for me. I, I ain't mad. You supposed to have that. Yeah. For sure, man. But definitely yeah. congratulations, brothers, on everything y'all got going on, man. Definitely yes. we're going to talk some more and just chop up some bread and just chop it up. I'm looking yeah, forward man. to it. Yes. For sure. Congrats to you too, brother. Man, appreciate it, King. Trapping out yes. the Trap House. Big Stewie. You know what's going on, dog? It's hot.